Craig here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can block and filter out this Russian referral spam traffic that you've likely discovered inside of your Google Analytics account. Now if you take a look over these domain names here and you have Russian referral spam you likely have some of these showing up as the number one referrer to your domain name. I only have one example I can share with you because I didn't that it's not really affecting me. So you see here, I'm under one of my websites under accusations and all referrals. And the number one referral for this website is coming from this domain name here. Now this is one of those Russian spam referral domains. Now the reason they do this is because they want vulnerable people that aren't aware to look at this and be like, hmm, I wonder why referral traffic is coming from this URL. Now, if I go to this URL, I have a chance of being infected or, you know, getting malware installed on my computer, or perhaps I get some offers shoved in my face. Who knows? I don't recommend you go and visit any of these Russian spam referral domains. Something else which I need to point out is this referral traffic, it's not real traffic and it doesn't even land on your website. They are basically tricking Google Analytics. So it's very easy to filter out and block this referral spam. And what you need to do is log into Google Analytics. And I have numerous websites in here in different channels. So if we click over to admin, so you have the option to apply these filters to uh, one website at a time or all websites under one account. Now I have a few different accounts uh, inside here. Now I have several websites inside this one account. So if I want to apply the filter to all websites inside this account, I click on all filters and we're going to click on add new filter or new filter. And although it doesn't show you the name of the website for some reason, uh, if I click on all website data and add, I'm basically going to be adding each website so that the filter applies to each website. Now, if you only have one website, uh, it's the same procedure, it just looks slightly different. So I'm going to apply this filter to my blog, thewiseaffiliate.com. So we can either click on all filters here or we can click on filters over here. So let's go and click on filters and we are going to click on new filter. So I'm gonna click on new filter and we are going to give it a name. So let's just call this, are you spam for Russian spam? And we have a couple of options here. Now I'm going to jump back over to this tab and just explain something. So, you know, if you're having a lot of um, referral spam coming from blackhatworth.com, you could filter out just this domain name. However, you'll notice that all of these Russian spam sites all have the same IP address. So let's first, let's go and block the domain name. So to block the domain name, we are going to click on custom and we are going to select uh, the filter field and we are going to click on referral and the filter pattern, we're going to paste in the domain and we are going to scroll down. Now, I don't have enough stats for me to verify that this filter is going to work. So if I click on verify this filter, well, I have no referral traffic, so it's definitely not going to work. But you, I recommend you click on that because if you have a large amount of traffic, it can give you an example of how your data is going to look. It's not going to work though for me, so I'm going to click on save. So what this is going to do is from this point on, whenever it comes across this referral traffic, it's not going to, you know, it's going to exclude it from being stored in my Google Analytics data. So if you liked that video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Questions and comments, feel free to post them below and uh, have yourself a great productive day.